Here's why you don't need to pay a tax to vote history. Before 1962, some U.S. states required citizens to pay a tax to vote in federal elections, a practice Congress later banned. Senator Spessard Holland ingeniously attached anti-poll tax language to a bill, transforming it into a constitutional amendment, effectively banning the poll tax. From 1870 to 1902, southern states imposed poll taxes as part of disenfranchisement measures, which were rigorously challenged by civil rights advocates. By the late 1940s, the focus shifted from poll taxes to literacy tests as the main barrier to black suffrage in the South. In 1962, Holland's amendment proposed to the Grange Bill faced opposition but bypassed significant hurdles, marking a pivotal moment against poll taxes. The 24th Amendment emerged as a crucial civil rights victory, despite Holland's personal disdain for challenging segregation, focusing instead on the corruption of machine politics. This landmark amendment, facilitated by strategic legislative maneuvering, underscored the evolving national support for civil rights and set the stage for future reforms.